Hey everyone, Amber from The Vault here. Welcome to Sanity of Morris. Now, before we get going here, I want to go ahead and give you guys a couple of heads up. First of all, if you are somebody who experiences ocular migraines or you have types of vision disturbances or anything like that with certain types of blurry images or if you experience any type of ocular auras, this game may trigger something. Um, personally, for me, the first time I tried to play it, it did actually trigger a migraine for me. And that's because there is a mechanic in this game that almost uses is my exact migraine aura and I, I don't know why that is it just if you're somebody who suffers with that kind of stuff it might affect you as well so you're gonna notice the word continue there I ended up having to stop um, I couldn't play it any longer because I started losing my vision um, in real life not just in the game so we're gonna go ahead and try to get through as much of this as we can it is currently out now this is actually a little bit late for a playthrough I meant to post this earlier but like I said I was unable to play it because I couldn't get past the migraine parts. So we're gonna go ahead and try again, but, but I just want everybody to be warned that it could happen. Um, before we also get into it, I do also wanna mention that I did get this from the publisher, so I just wanna say thank you so much for that, for letting me go ahead and play this here on the channel, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. It really seems like a great, fun game. I'm, I'm kinda bummed that it uses that uh, mechanic and that we can't turn it off, so let's go ahead and check it out. Just a heads up, at the beginning of this game, you're going to notice that some things are a little bit laggy. It will get better, I promise, but probably not until video two. Just wanted to warn you. It's a five hour drive. Of course I'm pissed. We were never close, the old man and me. Because I never lived up to any of his expectations, that's why. Not out of spite or anything, but... Because I'm just not like him. First, I didn't move to Green Lake with him. Then I dropped out of university to try to become a cop. And then I failed at that as well. 27. Still not close to the brilliant career he had. So we hardly talk at all. And now he asks me to come over? Leaving me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all? Could it be he's finally lost it? Early onset dementia? <sighs> Probably couldn't handle the retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. I know Green Lake is in the middle of nowhere, but you'd think there'd be some traffic coming up the road. <sighs> Hank sounded nearly unhinged in his voicemail. Better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he is my dad. Ah, uh, the research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? Does he think he's too- Ah! Hey! What the, what the fuck? Are, are you- are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit, oh shit, shit, shit! I did this last time too. I got so stuck looking at the deer I forget to click the mouse button. <laughs> Okay, so this is the part of the game where you're going to start noticing oh, an ocular disturbance. Seatbelt. <coughs> okay, so this is where you start to see that ocular disturbance, and that is what, um, personally, my migraines look like. So it is really hard for me to actually look at this. I have to get um, out of here. Making me feel somewhere. like I'm getting one, um, if that makes sense. So just something I figure I would mention as we go through here. Like I said, I'm going to do the best I can to kind of get through the game still. Uh, the chromatic, like, aberration doesn't bother me, but it's just that, like, wax papery look. Shit, they're coming after me. <clears throat> I'd better hide and turn off the flashlight. The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Morris' son. Situation control team out. <sighs> Not waiting for that to happen. 
Why me? Who are they? Questions for later. Shit, the car's a loss. Move your ass, John. All right, that's right, John. So basically, the only way to keep that um, kind of away or to keep that down is to keep a light out or to, you know, kind of keep yourself not scared. <laughs> so we're going to try to use a flashlight as much God, as we can. My lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. <sighs> God, where am I? <sighs> Green Lake. You're my father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. If I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. Alright, so I'll do the best I can. I'm gonna try to get through as much as I can. Here comes the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Hell no. God. God, shit. Smash W is so confusing to me. I think I lost them. So it seems to indicate like fear, like when we're scared it happens, which, you know, I, I will give it that it's interesting. Were those wearing masks? And some military outfit I've never seen before? Oh, God, I can't handle this. Even my vision's going all foggy. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I've got to avoid a panic. I'm staying in the light or it'll only get worse. Good thing I brought that flashlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just explain real quick before we go any further. So as we're going through here, I, I just want to, like, talk about if you're somebody who suffers from ocular migraines, I realize this isn't something that a lot of people probably know about. So your vision eventually just clouds over sometimes, depending on who you are, um, and you lose vision. And this is kind of what my aura looks like, and that's why this game is difficult um, for me to play without it triggering something in my brain to actually start a migraine, and that's why I got a migraine the first time I tried to play it. So as we're going through here, um, just thinking, you know, future devs, maybe if you're, I don't know, if you worked on this game, I've seen people use a mechanic very similar to this successfully before that didn't trigger anything like that, but there's something about the way this is just so ripped straight from my migraines that it, it definitely, um, I have to be like on a perfect day, <laughs> I have to make sure that I have everything right and you know I'm not going to risk getting one just to play it. So just something to think about. I know like ableism in games is something that um, I've talked about, especially with you know, people with colorblindness and things like that. Um, just something to kind of, I don't know, something to kind of bring up. And it's not something that usually, like I said, affects me that much. So it kind of shocked Research me. Institute. Look at those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. His voicemail. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. Okay. The game... The gameplay itself is, like, pretty damn fun, though. I, I like what I'm experiencing in it. I just... I don't know. That one thing is just so disappointing to me. Also, why are... Sometimes is it a little darker green? Should I go off path? I never know if I should go off path or not. I don't want to... The problem with this is I want to go off path and like really explore, but I'm afraid. Hank's house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is going to be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. 
write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? Ooh. Really dislike that, too. I write down all too. the clues and facts <laughs> I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's see. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for files, pictures, audio tapes, things like that. I should listen to that voicemail now. I don't want to make it clear. I promise not to like talk the whole entire game about um, ableism in this game specifically. It's just something that obviously a lot of games, uh, or a lot of gamers, I should say, really care about. And you know, being somebody who has kind of something in my head that I can't control. You know, I didn't give myself migraines. It's just something that um, I feel like is important to kind of mention. Oh shit! Voicemail. Um, Jonathan, this is Hank. I hope this reaches your phone. You can't rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days. Now listen, you must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake for some big fish. I know just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two weeks. I've got some nice pictures of it I want to show to you. Let me think. Yes, when you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. I haven't forgotten you're afraid of the night. So, make sure you bring a flashlight with you. I have to go now. I've guests coming over soon. I have to prep the house. We'll call you later. Come to me, son. Drive safely. I think if I got this from my dad, I would know immediately something was wrong. And there would be, like, no guess in my mind. It'd be like, oh, my dad stumbled upon something and that's a code. Uh, I don't have a dad who would probably stumble letters. upon things, but just in case. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? Hmm, now I've got to call my dad and ask him if he stumbled upon anything lately. I really want to know what's with those lights. The problem is if you don't go into the uh, lights like quickly, you start to lose your sanity or whatever, which I'm thinking that's why it's called sanity anymore. <laughs> it's funny though, cause like I started playing Amnesia, which is something I've definitely talked about before. Amnesia, um, not the Dark Descent, the original. And I didn't have that much of a problem. Why is the canoe against the house? Okay. Maybe that's not weird, but I don't store old canoe. my canoe that way. <laughs> well, at least I know he's not out fishing. Says a woman without a canoe. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Okay, sorry about that. He must have heard something outside. Caution tape. Someone taped the door. That's bad. What happened here? I'm not getting in this way. Why not? It's just caution tape. It's such a weird little breathing, like, mechanism. So there is a door on the other side, and we will go to it. But I want to go to this first. This old RV is still here. Does that mean he's around the house? Okay. I gave my dog a treat right before I started playing, of course. Though he, uh, decided, nope, I, I prefer to bark. <laughs> that's, that's him. The jump scares really aren't working, and I think that maybe they're not working because I'm not, like, looking in the direction of them. Um, if there was a jump scare, I, I missed it. Was there maybe something in the door, or... Yeah, some of the jump scares just aren't hitting. There's a lot of, like, the <sighs> voice doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm kind of, I'm curious. Like, that sounded for sure like a jump scare. Damn. It's locked. Hmm. He must put Maybe it in the gnome. Maybe there's a key. A gnome. Really, Hank? I hate hiding keys. A key? Must be the key to the kitchen. Please, for the love of God, folks, please don't, uh... I can't believe I just said folks. 
please don't use hide keys. They are like the most, uh, or the least Key secure fits. thing, I should say. It's dark inside. I don't like it. Why is this suddenly like a little cone? Also, I can barely see anything, and it's starting to trigger my <laughs> my brain again. Um, what happened? To m Why is my flashlight like a little? Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. Who is that? This image is important. What the fuck is that, Frank? Wait, hold on. So Frank's our father, but obviously. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the thing that appeared and disappeared before. Hmm. Okay. That was weird. I never would have thought that there was something there, I guess. Okay, so random girl. Auto Trader magazine. Pickles! Why are pickles important? Should we open the pickles? Are there no lights at all in here? Oh God, what was that? Right, breathe, John, breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. You're spooked, that's all. Okay. So I'm sp so actually am I actually a cop? Cuz I thought we we failed out of being a cop. So I assumed we didn't have much cop training. Okay, I'm just trying to wiggle this just in case some more comes out of it. Doesn't look like it. All right. There's a plate here. I notice that the game saves every time I like pick something up. Woo! The, the music. The music spoopy. The music is spoopy. The music. What the fuck? <sighs> Breathe, John. Breathe. Yeah, John. Breathe, dude. <gasps> what the hell? Photograph with mom on it. In the fridge? <laughs> Seems excessive. Even for Hank. Sorry if there was a lot of noise there suddenly. I was getting a blanket for my dog. Yes, he needs a blanket. He gets cold. Alright. Uh, hmm. Anything? What is that? Looks like a coffee grinder, maybe? Ooh, fishy. Fishy, fishy. Uh, monkey carrying wood. Sure. And the same fishy painting. Oh, dude, you didn't even have an entertainment stand? Garden in style. Ooh. Hank was fancy. I remember this clock from when we still lived together as a family 15 years ago. I could swear I saw it move just now. Well, it did, right? Cooking pro. Oh my god, what was that? No, no. It's okay. Morris, what is wrong with you? A fuse in the fireplace? Why? I'm writing this down too. And maybe altogether, the things in my journal will start to make sense. Maybe you should keep the fuse to put in a fuse box that'll almost always be in the game. I can't remember who I saw say it uh, recently, but someone said, there's always a fuse. <laughs> there's always a box and there's always a fuse in games. 
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Sanity Amoris. If you like this game, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to see more of it in the comments, or give it a thumbs up. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, but before we do, just want to say thank you so much to the publisher, as well as the people in the middle of your screen there. Those are all of my Patreon subscribers who helped me out over on Patreon. If you're interested in learning more about that, that is in the lower left-hand corner. It says something about uh, random content or exclusive stuff. That basically is how you can support the channel if you're interested in it, but I don't like talking about it, so we're going to move on. There's also some random and videos there on your screen as well as a picture of my big dumb face if you click that picture of my big dumb face you can subscribe to the channel you can also click on the bell icon if you would like to be notified every single time i post a brand new video we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and i'll see you all in the next one